What is up, guys? True Slayers back here today, guys. And today, guys, I wanted to talk about the new Capture the Flag mode that got brought into Overwatch with the Chinese New Year update. Basically, in this video, I want to talk about a problem that I think is very prevalent in this game mode that prevents it from making it into competitive play. And I want to talk about possible solutions for that problem. Just a quick disclaimer here, guys. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about mechanic-wise won't affect heroes at all. It's going to be mainly focused on the actual game mode itself. I agree with Blizzard's statement that when you take away hero abilities or adjust them for a certain game mode, it kind of kills the game's experience overall and can make it not as fun. It also doesn't make it as consistent when you go from that game mode to a different game mode if something plays different. And I really think that's a good stance that they have, and I'd like to thank Blizzard for keeping that in mind when they introduced this game mode in for Chinese New Year. The problem I think this game mode has that prevents it from getting into competitive play is the fact it's too easy to tie on. And if it ever did get into competitive play in its current state, it would make people very complicit and not really wanting to try to capture the enemy flag, focusing more on defending and protecting their SR. I feel like this is a huge problem for this game mode. If you guys watch my live streams, you know there's been times when we've been completely shut out, but we've also completely shut out the enemy team, and it becomes a complete stalemate. I think a couple mechanics that if you issue them will fix this problem. So the first mechanic I think they should issue, which I think will really help with this problem, is make an overtime mechanic. What I mean by this is if no one's captured a flag, or if it's a complete tie, there is an overtime round and basically what this overtime round does is in the middle of the map if you guys know Li Jing Tower has a capture point on it which is basically the middle of the map you have a flag there that spawns at this overtime mark and whoever can capture that flag and return to their base first wins the match and this would be a good way to have a tiebreaker and as well as make it more of a challenge to actually be ready for that and being able to build your team comp around for a hard push to the middle to try to cap that flag. And I think it would make this game mode so much more fun and actually put more focus on trying to win the game before you get to that overtime mode. That way you don't have to have that crazy rush. Another mechanic I think will help with this time problem, as well as address another problem, which is the fact of too much squishies in this game mode. Not saying it's a bad thing, but I would like more diverse uh, team compositions, is the uh, mechanic of not being able to capture your flag while the enemy has yours. If the enemy has got your flag, you shouldn't be able to capture yours. This will put more of an emphasis on defending your flag and actually making sure your flag is secure and makes more of an emphasis on it. Not only that, it also makes you want to think differently about who you want to carry the flag. Let's say you have a tracer carrying your flag. Very weak with high movement, of course, but can be easily focused down if the enemy team is trying to get their flag back. So running more of a tankier here like Winston, who's a little bit of evasive, will be a little bit better of a choice. But this would definitely change up the game mode immensely, and I feel like this mechanic should be implemented for sure. If any of you guys agreed with what I said in this video, please let me know by leaving a comment below. If you guys have any more ideas to balance this game mode so it's more fair and a lot more fun to play, please let me know in the comments below as well. And remember guys, to keep on chewing, and I'll keep on slaying. See all of you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.